I hope you're having a beautiful day and I apologize this video is definitely not for everyone so sorry about that but I knew I needed to post this video about a year ago and there are timestamps below if you want to skip this little intro about this video and you just want to get to how to inject yourself with an HCG shot. <sighs> okay, so for a woman who is experiencing infertility, uh, her specialist may prescribe HCG shots or one shot, like an Ovidril shot. And I'm not gonna get into the medical uh, part of this because I'm not a medical professional, but these shots can address a hormonal imbalance and can support uh, a pregnancy for someone who is having trouble conceiving. So about a year ago, my fertility specialist, not my current one, but a fertility specialist I worked with a year ago, prescribed a shot for me to give myself and it arrived at my house in this refrigerated box. You need to keep them refrigerated. And I wasn't given any instruction really on how to give it to myself. They didn't show me at the office. And there was an instruction page in the box, a written page, but that was it. I was just told to give myself this shot with the written instructions in the box. And I have never given myself a shot before. And it was terrifying and I knew I needed to talk about this even though I know this doesn't apply to the mothers out there or the men most of the men I mean if you are a man who knows a woman your wife or your sister who's going through this I mean you can tell her that you watched this video but I know this doesn't apply to everyone but I felt that I really needed to talk about this because it was really hard. It was so difficult for me to give myself this shot. I have been getting allergy shots for over a year. So for several months, I would get two shots every week, sometimes every other week. And for several months, every month, I also get my blood tested. And I also like acupuncture. So you would think with all of the needles that I get in my body every single month, that giving myself this shot wouldn't be so difficult, but it was so difficult because when I get an allergy shot, I don't look, I just let someone else do it. But to have a needle in your hand and to just essentially stab yourself with this needle in a very sensitive place in your belly is so terrifying and it really goes against our human nature, our human instinct to hurt ourselves, to stab ourselves with a needle. Anyway, so I get this refrigerated box with this needle and I read the instructions and I think to myself, okay, I'm gonna do it, I get all ready, follow the instructions, I have the needle in the spot that I just sterilized with alcohol, ready to go, and I just, flipped. I started bawling. I was like, I can't do this. How can I stab myself with a needle? I called the doctor's office. I was like, can I just come in? Because that fertility specialist actually was just 10 minutes down the road. I just wanted to drive over there and let them give me the shot. And they said, no, it really would be best for you to just give yourself the shot right now. Because I guess I was a little late to give myself the shot that day. There was a little miscommunication. I don't work with that fertility specialist anymore for several reasons, but I mean, these, this little experience didn't help. I called the pharmacy that sent me this needle freaking out and I said, I just don't know if I can do this. And the woman on the other line said, well, you want a baby, don't you? And I said, yes. And she was like, okay, you can do it. And I hung up and I tried to do it again and I just couldn't, I couldn't stab myself with a needle. Also, I have a very low pain tolerance. So this was just so hard for me. At that point, my husband was like, okay, I'm gonna do it for you. And he had the needle in his hand ready to go and he said, I can't do this. <laughs> So I had a little bit of relief and then just the stress again of, ugh. but I don't blame him at all. He doesn't have any medical background. And again, it's just so unnatural to stab yourself with a needle. 
Anyway, I was a crying, blubbering mess, and I finally got myself together and stabbed myself with this needle. It doesn't hurt that much. It's just, I don't know how else to explain it, that it just goes against our human nature to do this. It was, oh, sorry. If you are a nurse watching this, you are probably thinking, oh my gosh, it's just this tiny needle. I actually have a friend in this city who is a nurse, and I would have loved to just drive to her house with my needle and let her give it to me but with the timing of everything and all that i had going on that day i couldn't have done that anyway i gave myself that needle that one shot and i'm working with another fertility specialist now and she has prescribed three shots that i have to take on different days uh each month that i don't conceive so this coming month i have to give myself three shots and thankfully, because I've already done it once, uh, you know, the last time I gave myself this shot, I wasn't crying at all. It still was a little scary, but I just pulled myself together and gave myself the shot. And I just wanted to share this with you. So if any of you are in this situation or if you know someone in this situation, you could offer this video to them. Or if you're someone who is comfortable administering a shot, you could even offer to go to their house and give it to them. I would have loved again to visit my friend who's a nurse and let her give it to me. Anyway, also with my current fertility specialist, they are awesome. I happened to be in the office uh, for one of the days that I needed a shot and a nurse there gave it to me and she slowly explained how to administer it to myself. Anyway, if you are in this predicament and you have to give yourself an HCG shot, know that the needle is really tiny and it really doesn't hurt. It is just the tiniest little pinch and I knew in my head it wasn't going to hurt a crazy amount, but again, it just was just so hard for me to do, but I promise once you do it, you'll realize it's not that bad. It really doesn't hurt much. You just have to get over that initial pinch and pushing the needle through. And I just want to share this with you and encourage you that if I can do it, you can do it. And if you're feeling scared, you know, a little nervous about it, just think of me. I'm sure you're doing so much better than I was doing. I was literally bawling and just freaking out and also you know thoughts of uh, other people get pregnant you know without even trying and here I am having to inject myself with a drug it's so scary to stab myself with a needle I was just an emotional hot mess so I'm sure you are doing much better than me so I hope that alone comforts you anyway on to the video on how to actually inject yourself with this drug. First, you wanna make sure you have everything you need out on a clean surface. You need an alcohol wipe to cleanse the area, and you need your shot, of course, a bit of gauze, and a Band-Aid. And if it would offend you to see my belly, you can turn off this video now, you're gonna see my belly. So you want to get about two inches away from your belly button and if you have to do more than one shot, you know, do the right side of your belly button and then the left. And then of course you want to cleanse the area. So I'm using this little alcohol pad. And with the actual drug, I'm just going to pull off this little stopper here and attach the actual needle. And I've actually gotten a needle that was already assembled, so that could happen to you, but in this case I have to sort of put it together. So I just attach it and screw it on to make sure it's good and tight. A nurse would do this so much faster. And then pull that little case off, and there you have it, the needle. You also want to prime it, so just push out the tiniest bit because you don't want to inject air into your body. So you want to pinch your fat. It's good to 
have some fat uh, in this instance and give yourself the shot. Sorry, this isn't the best angle. I was pretty nervous when I was doing it, but there you go. And you wanna put your gauze over it and your Band-Aid. Woohoo, I did it. And afterwards I just got an ice pack and put it in one of my dinner napkins because it is not painful really, it's just a little sore. So I'm all set, it's all numb because of the ice. And also just a reminder, make sure to dispose of your needle properly. I put the cap back on and put it in a bag and next time I go to the doctor, I can dispose of it safely um, there at the doctor's office. So again, I know it is a little scary to do this, but if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm definitely praying for all the infertile couples out there. I know motherhood is such a good and holy desire, but what comforts me so much is that this life is just a glimpse and we are called to eternity with God in paradise. So I know those suffering with infertility are just so heartbroken and some have to give themselves shots, which is just so not fun to say the least. But I just encourage you to offer up your sufferings to God, turn to God with your sadness and he will fill you with his love. And also, I do feel very blessed that I do have the means to see a fertility specialist to get these shots. These natural options and modern medicine does also comfort me. You know, I feel very grateful for these options. Anyway, again, I know this video is not for many of you, but I know truly in my heart that this video will help someone because the Lord knows that I needed to watch this video about a year ago when I was freaking out. My poor husband, he's so sweet and patient with me when I have an emotional moment, like when I first had to give myself a shot. I hope you're having a beautiful week. God bless you and until next time, bye.